a photographer and writer, at least that's what I think of myself as, okay? And actually, I've done it for quite some time. Uh, but really, uh, in terms of uh, business and work, uh, I've been first in IT and uh, now uh, primarily web development. Uh, I had a uh, small shop out in uh, Coburg area uh, and I moved back here into town uh, just this last August. And uh, uh, so tr trying to uh, develop business here in town. Uh, I trained uh, at computer science at the University of Michigan and uh, I took an MBA at Western Ontario. Uh, what do I do for fun? Well, photography uh, is, and that's why image grids are one of the things that I'm uh, pointing to here on, uh, uh, in this presentation. Uh, for fun, I also uh, play tennis, badminton, and do some selective travel. Okay, the slides are here. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna update that because I've just done some slides already uh, and I'm gonna update that and I'm also gonna have it on my WordPress site. Uh, so it'll be, uh, let's see, uh, if we can get that out, uh, theopensorcery.com. So there'll be a summary of this presentation and it'll be up at that site. Okay, so, what, uh, why uh, do a presentation on image grids? Well, it, it's very interesting. Last year at the, uh, uh, James Archer at the uh, uh, WordCamp did a presentation in which he said, and it was actually fa fairly controversial, he said WordPress is the web's operating system. Yeah, I get mixed reactions on that. It, it truly is the, uh, the but his argument was uh, twofold. First, uh, there's no other uh, web development tool that matches WordPress in terms of market share. It was 24.3, and if you go check uh, W3Text, it's now up to 25.4 percent. Okay. And that's a substantial, although not dominant, as we're familiar with, let's say, Microsoft and its dominance of the PC marketplace. But it's a, a, a major worldwide presence. 25% of uh, uh, world websites use WordPress. I, even I was impressed with those numbers. Uh, and he uh, related that, uh, uh, in effect, there are six key success factors for uh, WordPress. Uh, and those uh, six uh, success factors are, first, uh, you can do effective website layout and user interactions and even more quickly than ever before. Last year, I did a presentation on front-end front designers, uh, things like Visual Composer or Headway Themes and so on and so forth. Now, if you go to any of the major theme houses, they sell a page builder alongside their themes. So you can go in and change those themes and change the layout and so forth. Uh, styling is still a few steps behind. I happen to use Headway Themes where they have, I think, one of the best CSS styling editors. So I'll, I'll give James his point here. But I don't have uh, an agreement here. He says there's easy access to and presentation of data in uh, WordPress. And I would say if you do certain data, which is uh, 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 tables and uh, contact forms and uh, posts, and you're really familiar with uh, ACF, uh, 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 Advanced Custom Fields, which is a, a free plugin, but it's also a, a plugin that takes a fair degree of uh, talent to master, well then you can do a lot of things. But simple tables, doing CRUD, CRUD is where you create, replace, update, or delete uh, items in a table. That's, there's no tools for that in uh, WordPress. So I, I don't agree with him uh, on this one. 
But I do agree, and that's why I've uh, highlighted it in green, that in media and image refinement and layout, WordPress gets you a long way, and that's what I'm going to be here showing you. I I'm not going to do all the five major uh, uh, image uh, uh, media that are available in WordPress. I'm going to concentrate on image grids. But the, the, across the board, uh, right now, uh, WordPress does a pretty darn good job of supplying uh, facilities so that you can do work effectively. Ease of use and change of style and features, well, it's plugins and themes, and uh, I did a lot of Java programming and a lot of C programming, and this was the, b the bear. If you had to change stuff, it was just a nightmare in some instances. In contrast, your ability to go into themes or to go into uh, plugins and change the functionality that you offer a client is a lot easier. And in fact, there's a, uh, there's a real uh, simple uh, statement of that, and that is, uh, just like in the Apple case, there's a, uh, an app for that. Now there's a plugin or theme for that, is a, is a calling card for WordPress. So I'll give him full power here and here. Easy to operate and update. Some people might ar argue on that one. Let's call it neutral. And security and reliability, uh, a year ago, I would have agreed, eh, eh, no problems. But of course, in the last year, uh, WordPress has seen quite a few updates and uh, there are problems associated not just with uh, security but also with reliability in the sense of how well does the code perform and how fast is it. So this is a question mark. So why take a look at uh, visual images and why that is important to uh, WordPress users? Well. Let's take a look. There's two billion cameras in the world today, okay? And in the last year, one-tenth of all the photos ever taken were taken. And images convey information, mood, styling almost instantly. They're absolutely valuable on your websites. There's a, a book uh, by uh, uh, David Kahneman in which he looks at uh, slow and fast thinking or stage one versus stage two thinking. So if you have to read, that's stage two, it's slow, and people tend to avoid it. Whereas stage one thinking is associated with images and your ability to immediately process right away and get a quick impression, often a true impression, of what the situation is uh, regarding a uh, particular a story that is being told or presented to you. That's why images have become very, very valuable in the WordPress context. So uh, look what it's, uh, the net result is. Images have catapulted such uh, uh, social media as Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Facebook to big, big tom dominance and, and prominence in the uh, uh, web world. Okay, and it, uh, uh, there's a, a good paper on this, and I unfortunately do not have the link to that. I'll probably put it into my uh, final summary story about why social media rely on images to sell their services. Okay, pages with relevant images have 94% more total views. That's a selling point for images. 94% more views, but what's the key adjective here? Relevant images. If you're just throwing out dozens of images, travel images and so on and so forth, you're losing your audience. If you're telling a story with your images, they're relevant and they help sell. Okay. So, uh, the next thing is Interactive images with video animations and links, A, attract more users, and B, act as visual sitemaps to a website. 
That's one of the big advantages of image grids. Image grids, you put in a link for every image and you're going to be able to take your customers to the product you're selling, to the uh, uh, people uh, that you're talking about, to the uh, event that you're promoting. Images and grids are a fast way of telling people what's on your website and what to expect on various pages on your website. That's a big selling point for image grid. Okay, 60% of users say the quality of a product image is very important in selecting and purchasing. Uh, you tell you, I'll show you, oh, uh, I'm actually afraid now to show you the, we uh, the website to, to get out of this. Uh, let's see if I can, no, I'm not gonna try to do it. The system is, uh, this is a new uh, system for me. Uh, it's inviting me. Mm, no, no. Do it? Okay. Here we go. We're going to go to Chrome. Okay. And it takes me to my uh, home website. Now I go over here and do a history. And I want seven tabs. Okay, here's an example of an image grid. Here's an example of uh, an image grid, but the f uh, if we, it, uh, it has underneath it a light box, so you can see what e each of the images. That's another advantage of image grids. Uh, they allow you to image box and add more information, tell your story about your product. And uh, the two products that I'm uh, describing here, uh, which is Essential Grid and uh, Justified Image Grid, they're premium products, but this capability of being able to uh, bring up a light box that tells a story is very, very useful in, in the marketplace. Now, one of the interesting things is, is that uh, these guys have a problem. And the problem they have is, is they really aren't showing off their awnings, which they're trying to sell, very well. The, the, the images are, huh. Oh, I think I know what's going on. No, I don't know what's going on. Yes, I do. I tell you, more excitement inadvertent excitement in this presentation and then you can shake a fist at. Sorry about that. They really are having image problems. Nasty. Very well done though. Well, okay, so uh, the, look at these. I couldn't believe these guys. They're trying to sell their awnings but the images they're using are, you know, they're sort of casual, let's put it that way. They're not precise to what uh, the uh, uh, market would like to see. So, in any case, the, so the problem is, is let's go back to the presentation and we'll see that 67% uh, of users say the quality of a product image is very important in selecting and purchasing. And Signorama has almost ignored that in some of its images in which it's trying to sell these awnings. I, I just couldn't believe this. Uh, so it, it's really quite uh, uh, interesting. Finally, search results with an image get 60% higher usage according to both uh, Bing and Google. So, what do you mean by 60%? Uh, so when you do a search and there's a uh, uh, a little image or a big image associated with that search result, they'll click on that more, 60% more often than ones with no image whatsoever. And what happens when you do a search for Google Images? No, no, just a general search. If you're doing a search for Google Images, but, but, but also just a general Google search or a, a Bing search for that matter. For, uh, let's say you're looking for uh, industrial cleaners, uh, which I was looking for the other day. 
uh, I went to the first site that had showed me what the, uh, uh, you know, a s small image of their product among all the uh, search results. Sorry, I thought you meant on that particular site. Oh, uh, it, it also is true on a particular site, though. Uh, uh, Google argues that it's, uh, it, it's not just in their results, but in particular search results. That you should, therefore, try to incorporate that into your search results for a particular website. Uh, sorry? I didn't realize that the previous images showed up in search results. They, uh, they don't always. You have to do extra work mm -hmm. in order to uh, get that image to show up. And there's various ways of doing that. And Google explains it in their, uh, they have a, a, a section on, they got a section on everything. Uh, uh, sorry? No, no, no. Uh, that's, uh, that's a little outside. I tell you, I, I diverted myself from uh, enough already. So, so I, uh, I, right. Yeah, it's a, usually it's a thumbnail. It's not a full full size image, of course. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, so let's take a look at uh, the the point that I just showed you with Signorama. I am amazed at how many websites where users that are developers of or use uh, it's their website, okay. And they're really casual about their images. The staging of the image may not be appropriate in the sense that uh, it, it, it's too big or it's too small or it's, uh, it just doesn't show you what, uh, what you want to know. The key, it hasn't been cropped is basically the problem. Uh, size of image may be awry. Sometimes they're too small and you can't see what's there and sometimes they're way too big. And they're, uh, of course, affecting the overall performance of your website. The finishing of the image can be uh, poor. Uh, too many, I, I, I do travel websites quite, uh, I have been doing travel websites, and I'm amazed at how many images I get given to me by the travel agency or the uh, 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 various government uh, parties and events and so forth, where the images are just dirty dogs, you know, they're not well finished. They, they haven't put in uh, brightness, color checks, and you know, and stuff like that. And, and, and so there's really a, a casualness about images that uh, affects their effectiveness. And so that's a key point that you've got to get to your clients is, I can give you a very good service with sliders or image grids, but I'm going to depend on you to supply me uh, with great images, or I'll do it for you. Okay. Now, as a photographer, I like to say I'll do it for you, but but that doesn't always sell. Okay. So uh, all right, I'm going to have to go down one. It's going to allow me to. Thank you. Okay, here's the way images are currently used on pr primarily in WordPress and other CMS systems like Drupal or uh, JavaScript frameworks are also getting very, very popular and they're getting very competitive to uh, WordPress. Uh, a JavaScript framework is something like Bootstrap or Foundation Zurb or, or stuff like that. They get you those quick microsites. All, it's one page, but it goes boom, right, you know, the whole show is on one page. It's interesting, Bootstrap has lately uh, been incorporated in a lot of WordPress themes. And so therefore, theoretically, you get the best of both worlds. You get Bootstrap, capa bootstrap capabilities in a WordPress environment. So what are the five principal uh, things? Well, you, <laughs> the bread and butter is single standalone images, okay? Sliders of images have become very popular, and in fact, there's a reaction against. If you go and look up slider image usage, or UX, in Google, you'll find that there's a number of articles against using sliders. They're overused, and so on and so forth. But then when you go over to the Webby Awards, you see just about every winning 
uh, site, website, has uh, uh, sliders as one key component. So there is a bit of ambiguity associated with those. Then there's the, uh, the middle thing, which I'm going to be talking about, is image galleries or grids. Okay. And I'll just be uh, uh, touching on videos and animations and interactive images. Uh, the, uh, these latter two uh, videos and animations can be incorporated into uh, image grids. So I've seen an image grid, I've also seen a slider that has one after another a series of videos or an animation. And those can be very attractive, but they also can be sort of disconcerting or disturbing. They take people's attention away from uh, what you want to do, which is uh, sell an idea or a product. Okay, so let's look at image grids. Here's a typical image grid. This is using Essential Grid. That's one of the two uh, premium uh, image grid tools that I'll be discussing. And, sorry? Essential. Essential Grid. Okay. Uh, that's from Theme Punch, and later on you'll see I actually ha have links to the, to the site. What, what's the advantage of this? Well, uh, in this case, they're all, all the images are the same size. Okay. Uh, the advantage is, is that if a person clicks here, they go and see uh, more about selling uh, or buying of strawberries or uh, carrots and so forth. Or it, it's, in this case, it's Bloor Village, so it's a little story about uh, what happens in Bloor Village and what you can do in Bloor Village. It's not selling necessarily, okay? It's selling the broader idea of living in Bloor Village. Okay. Uh, So, why do they matter? Okay, image usage on all the world's websites, JPEG is on 70% of all the world's websites. PNG is on 67%, uh, GIF is on 41%, and SVG is uh, trailing way behind, but growing at a 400% rate. So SVG, especially for illustrators, has become more and more popular. Add these all together, and 87% of the world's websites have at least one of these image uh, uh, forms. I'm surprised that it's not 99.9% .9 because, as we've said, images sell instantly your message on what you know, what your site is about, or your product, or your people, and so on and so forth. So I'm surprised there are text-only sites. I'm amazed. But this is, remember, this is the world, and so perhaps in, uh, in some areas of the world, it's still, uh, you know, images still don't get used as often. Okay, image grids. Why do the image grids matter? Okay. Well, image grids are used in portfolios, photo galleries, product layouts, testimonials, people's lists, and, and they're all over the place, okay? And so uh, I just did a website for an event, and uh, I had to first show all the staff, then I had to show all the uh, major uh, events or sub-events that were occurring, and this is at the Apple Blossom Time Festival, so they have a soapbox derby, they have a um, uh, uh, eating apple eating contest, they've got a, a dancing contest, they've got a, a baby's uh, 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 judgment of uh, who's the cutest baby and so on and so forth. They have cars, they have historical uh, uh, use, use of uh, various farm equipment and so forth. That was what the, they wanted to convey to their people, uh, their users, as to what you could see on their site. And they wanted that, that when 
a person clicked on an image, it was taken to all the details associated with, let's say, the soapbox derby or the uh, spelling bee. What forms did you have to fill out for the spelling bee, for the soapbox derby, who had won the last few years, and so on and so forth. So in effect, the image grid acted as a visual site map to the Apple Blossom Time Festival. Okay, uh, images also help reduce the bounce rate. Images in general, not just image grids, okay. Images in general improve conversion rates. Uh, you'll see, if you look in the literature on uh, SEO and, uh, and so forth, you'll see this con uh, uh, constantly being referred to. Uh, image grids themselves, though, help pull users below the fold line. What, what's below the fold line? Who can tell me what's below? Yeah? Bottom of the screen. Text it, and newspaper. Exactly. It's like SEO. You're trying to get on uh, uh, page one because you don't want to uh, lose uh, everything. And, uh, and uh, the same is true. You want to pull people below the fold line on your various websites. So here I'm going to try again. Uh, let's see if I can go. No, don't want to do this. No, I got this. Oh my gosh. Let's do this. Yes, this is where I want to go. And uh, here's the home details. I just recently sold uh, my parents' place, okay? And one of the things that. Uh, I sold it for sale by owner, avoided $25,000 worth of uh, commission fees. It went in nine weeks. I was really surprised, okay? One of the key things was my ability to show things about the area, Northumberland Hills. Here's uh, a justified image grid that shows you some of the activities that takes place in the Northumberland Hills. And people said, this page helps sell the website. Yes? Are these are those with links to a post, or are they just? Uh, well, uh, it says, see more. So you go, so they are linked. But some are not linked. OK? But the key idea is, is that uh, uh, you get people by doing something like this, see, they see that there's more down below. And they can see it also in the uh, slider, that there's more down below. And people like this, or at, le at least like this, I was told. And, and, but it's, it's, it's absolutely true. Uh, so uh, you have, no, that's a slider I used here. Let's see, Northumberland Hills Travel. Yes, in travel, I used a grid again. And yet, every one of these grid elements takes you to these various websites. And people like that. In fact, uh, Northumberland Hills is asking me to develop a, a general events website for them. Uh, yeah? Did you have to get permission from all these different sites to use these images? Uh, a, a lot of them, no, because uh, either they're, uh, uh, for example, Preskill Park, I did that. That's my, my website. Yeah, but even if you did it, wouldn't you have to get permission from the people who actually own the site for it? Uh, it? I checked with about five or six of them, and they were, you know, after the... I'm asking because a few weeks ago, uh, one of the other people, the developer was part of another session. Right. Right. He, he gave me a hack. The hack was find an image you like that's on a paid site. Right. Find the name of the image and go out and do a Google search. You'll right. find somebody out there who uses it. Right. And it doesn't have a watermark on it. And, 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 and right. And, and he told me this about, I don't know, back in July or so. Right. Last night he tells me he knows somebody who did that and Getty Images contacted him and said take it down or we'll sue you. But I think that's the thing. Actually linking but the that's what I'm saying. To the can you even can you even yes. post yeah. screen 
screenshots of, yeah, of websites. Uh, I must admit, uh, I, I just did it for about five or six sites, and then I stopped doing it because I was getting, uh, uh, well, some people just didn't respond, but in general, I got no objections because I'm telling, uh, but uh, you have a good point. Well, you what I want to do is, 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 is use some in, and all of a sudden the next thing I know, I've got a loss coming in. Well, right. But they're copywritten. You, you can't steal other people's images, which is essentially what you're suggesting that you do. Yeah. You have to pay the licensing fee. Right. Because he was suggesting that you So, you, in other words, bottom line, you did contact the people, the sites that you don't control, you contact, try to, you made an attempt to contact them. Exactly. Them. Okay. Uh, but in terms of images, I'm much more uh, 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 cautious. Uh, if, it, if it's not my own image, or it's not an image that I've been specifically given uh, permission to use, then I agree with you that you've really got to be very careful and you've got to check and make sure, and that often is difficult. Uh, so, uh, for example, Google has the Google Image Search and uh, uh, the you, uh, Jeff, yeah. That um, is quite near common, and if if search um, success images included foreign subjects. What, what, what's the name of that? Tin type. Tin type, eh? Yeah. And also, they work with Google Image Search. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it? And tin tin eye is in the slogan that you said. Uh, so uh, I, I'm really interested in this because I've done, a, uh, on my thephotofinishes.com, I've done a paper on what can you legally do with images, okay? And I've described all the ins and outs and so on and so forth. But uh, I didn't know about tintype or, uh, you know, the reverse, uh, you, you mentioned reverse Google? You can actually drag an image into the search bar. So oh, you can. Yeah. Okay, now, does yeah, tin eye so cost you? I tell you, this is definitely of interest to me uh, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you can send me the link, I'll, I'll uh, in fact, I'll give you my card because I, I I'm interested in this, to say the least. Okay. I guess in, in this case, I mean, technically you could say you have their images on your site. Like even if you just screenshot the image and put it in. Yeah. Like See, it's Sandbanks. But, but Sandbanks said, um, well, this is government. And, and these guys couldn't, ca uh, not, couldn't care less, but uh, they actually like the promotion. Uh, and, but uh, uh, I think it was these guys, uh, yeah, carriage ridge skiing, they didn't reply. Yeah. It's only a part of a new... Um, but I, I actually, I, I began to think that the, the point here, I better check this out, that can I show... See, uh, uh, I didn't get a response from all the, uh, the websites. And so uh, now I'm wondering, maybe I should have. Okay, 10 cents. These are generic, and these are areas. Well, what, if, what if it was a hotel, and you were going to take a picture of, and you were going to use the, use the screen cap of the hotel. Oh, here's, and here's another thing. Screen cap of the website of the hotel, and the hotel goes, hey, you can't, you know, you can't use that without our permission. I don't right. Can, can, you know. And the other thing is, what happens if you're walking down the street, and with your own camera, you take a picture of that hotel? Is that your property then? Well, even if you take people that are in a public place, mm -hmm. the, uh, you're allowed to show that picture of people. Except you're in Quebec. Uh, except you're in, in Quebec? In Quebec? Oh, you're not allowed in Quebec. Oh, very interesting. Okay, let's get off the legal because I only got 10 minutes to get through this. Uh, okay, so 
let's real quickly look. Image grids are not equal to sliders. Uh, basically, image grids are two-dimensional, uh, as uh, we see uh, here, uh, whereas uh, sliders are one-dimensional. Now, with carousels, you have maybe three images, uh, two smaller ones and one big one. But basically, they're still one-dimensional, okay? Whereas, uh, but sliders have their own worth, and, and I have another talk about that. But also, go on the web and see that sliders are not universally praised. Okay. A uh, carousel is a slider with uh, two or three images, and uh, but they're in a row. Okay, and they slide on by. Okay. Whereas image grids ha have some animation. Uh, but not a lot, okay? Image grids, uh, see, I ha say, have, uh, uh, have some animation, but lighters, uh, sliders have more. Image grids emulate sliders' use of click links and text captioning. So, uh, sliders, if you click on, uh, on, a, uh, on an image in a slider, you go, uh, often you go to a particular uh, website or uh, a page or whatever. That's, that's the essence of using uh, image grids as well, okay? Uh, and uh, text captioning, actually I find text captioning is more powerful in image grids than in sliders, but each to his own poison. Okay, no. so we now know that image grids are not sliders. Let's look at the image grid trends. Here's why I'm giving this talk. If you go to the, either of these two websites, you'll find over 20 image grids free. Okay? And they're all, uh, not all, but most of them are god awful. <laughs> okay? So it, it, go ahead and try it yourself. But, uh, you know, if you go to the WordPress site, you'll see that they have as many poor. Uh, a, or, or a good fraction of their reviews are poor, the lo lowest level, one, as there are great, uh, uh, you know, reviews for them. So, uh, very mixed capabilities and user ratings on the free versions. And this is why I say it's negative. Compared to hot free slider plugins and uh, front-end plugins, uh, last year I did a thing about uh, front-end uh, tools like Visual Composer and Headway and so on. I found, just after I did that, a uh, great uh, uh, page builder free of charge from Site Build, uh, sorry, from uh, Site Origins called Page Builder. It's superior, okay? Gets you close, if not, you know, equivalent to a uh, Visual Composer, and the cost is zero. So, it's called uh, Site Origins post, uh, Page Builder, sorry, Page Builder. But it actually does post as well, okay? And uh, so, do you see what I'm saying? Here, in Image Grids, you can't get close. But in uh, uh, sliders and uh, front-end plugins, uh, uh, you can get reasonably close. In the sliders, take a look at Cyclone Slider. Very good, free. Gets you darn close to the top of the line uh, sliders. Okay, but there's not that in image grids. So that's why I went on the hunt for a really good set of image grid plugins. Okay, here's the thing that is, uh, even from the free ones, responsive design is consistently provided. So what that means, if you collapse down your screen to a smartphone size, it will be responsive. It will collapse cleverly, okay? And I should be wanting to show you this, but I'm not going to because I don't have time. Lightbox support is available in most grids, even the free, okay? Lightbox means if you click on the an image in the grid, it will pop up uh, a bigger image and then you can go along and see other uh, images. Captioning support in the light box and some on grid is okay. I really 
it was ambiguous about this. But few support image sources beyond WordPress gallery. Not NextGen, not uh, Flickr, not 500, uh, uh, 500 FX, not uh, Facebook. Very poor in that regard. Five minutes. Ooh. Some support uh, page posts using featured images, but most don't. Some support masonry isotope layout, and that's the key advantage of the image grids uh, that I'm going to point to you, uh, point out to you, is their support for ma masonry and isotope layout. That's where you have different images of different sizes, and yet they're able to put them all into an image grid very cleverly. Okay, saves you gobs of time. Okay. Few support filtering, which images shown in, uh, 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 in the grid, okay? So what I want to be able to do is show all the jewelry artists uh, among the artists that I, I have on the uh, Nor North Northumberland Hill site, and it's things like that. And few support load more or infinite scroll. So the big guys, the two big guys, do the best job of all of these extras, okay? And the gap is wide, and that's why you would be interested in paying, here's the cost, about $27 to $30 per website that you use either Essential Grid or Justified Image Grid. But I will tell you, the time you save if you have a big website and a website design yeah, thirty dollars, uh, you know, is trivial. Okay, so let's just take a look. H here's the free and good ones, and I'm going to quickly go through these. Uh, Next Gen Gallery has really improved. How many used Next Gen Gallery during the transition from uh, uh, to Photocraty uh, about two and a half years ago, and it was a disaster. Yeah, it was a disaster. So. It's now stabilized and much better. It's one of the best galleries for managing images. Uh, it, it really puts uh, all the others to shame. Uh, and there's now uh, ways of getting things out of if, the, uh, if you have to put it into a uh, 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 media gallery library, y there's uh, plugins for that. Okay. Easy Image Collage does collages. If you use Photoscape, the program, it'll do this just as well. Okay. Picasso Sorry? Picasso does this. Yes, Picasso does it as well. Uh, Foo Gallery is one of the better ones for doing uh, a media a masonry layouts, uh, different size images. As you can see, they're different sizes. Okay. It's free. And it has a good light box capability. Uh, justified image gallery. Notice I said justified image gallery. It's the one that I'm going to be showing you is justified image grid. Okay, this is a freebie, and I just couldn't get it to work well. Uh, so I, I I put it up just for the sake of putting it up. Grid accordion is actually quite nice. Okay, but you're getting, uh, uh, there's a premium version, and to get all the bells and whistles, you got to pay for it. Okay, but I like some of the things that you can do in Grid Accordion. Okay, so now, here's the two premium image grids that I want to tell you about. Uh, Essential Grid, and I'm showing you here, this is just a series of posts. Okay, single row, multi-post. Uh, Essential Grid. So this, if you click on any one of these images, it will take you to that post. Okay, it acts as a banner ad or a carousel, in effect. Uh, Justified Image Grid for $20 uh, per website has uh, the uh, infinite scrolling and has much better management of masonry images, different sized images. That's the advantage of that. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Here's what we're saying, premium image grid attributes. Remember all the things that couldn't be done? 
Well, these guys do it, okay? And that's the essential message. I'll let you go through that. Uh, if you go up to the website, that slide for sure is there. Okay, so now, essential grid in action does captions, masonry, and links. So it can do masonry, but it's not as good as justified image grid. Justified image grid, you give it huge uh, pictures, uh, portrait, landscape, and it puts them all into a grid very well, and you get to determine what the uh, image height is. It then manages the width okay, of the overall grid, image grid. Uh, essential supports, though, more options for it. Uh, it'll do post, page, uh, CPT means custom post type, high frames, and other things. Uh, Justified Grid only does post. Okay, so there's a trade-off between these. That's why I'm showing them both. Essential display, uh, displays YouTube, Vimeo, HTML, and Wistia uh, videos right in the image grid. So you click on an uh, on a, a video and up it pops and you're telling your story about your product or your event or whatever the case may be. Now, uh, Justified Image Grid does the same thing, but it, it's much more complicated and it doesn't have, the, it just has YouTube and Viv uh, Vimeo. Uh, and the big disadvantage that I find for Essential Grid is it just doesn't handle the range of photos that clients come and photo sources or image sources that clients come to me with. And so I can't get them uh, up on the thing without taking an extra step, another plug-in or another uh, step, whereas uh, Justified Image Grid does it immediately. Okay, we're close to done. Here is uh, an essential grid with posts. That was what uh, I had shown before. Uh, here's the essential grid pros and cons. Okay, it's essentially what I said before, but uh, there's a weaker handling of mixed dimension image, and I'm finding there's more bugs, especially in the add advanced features. Okay. Uh, the guy that runs uh, Justified Image Grid, I told him I was having a problem for this presentation. Within the day, he came back and said, hey, you're not doing uh, things essentially right here. You've got to use, uh, uh, I wanted to use uh, short codes in the uh, captions. He said, you can't do it if it's uh, up above, but you can do if it if it's uh, below the image line. He then showed uh, how to fix for uh, another problem associated with uh, uh, pointer fields or link fields. One day, quick response. The theme punch people who are Germans, who you'd expect, you know, <laughs> efficiency is their middle name, would come back right away. I still, uh, I, I've got problems and I can show you that. So uh, that's the uh, trade-off there. Now, here's Jig in, in action, and you can see these are different size images, and you can do a load more easily, okay? It'll load more images, okay? That turns out to be quite useful. Uh, here's Jig in, uh, in, in, and here I'm showing, see the different size of the images? That's a portrait, these are landscapes, this is square, and it handles them all and puts them in a nice overall grid. Okay, so last, uh, Jig can only handle uh, posts. It's easy to set up and manage, but, but there's no support for pages, custom post types, etc. So, Jig's pros and cons. Well, they're the reverse of essential grid, <laughs> you know. Uh, weaker CPT page, uh, fewer video and iframe and custom support options, less control of full width and full screen image grids. Overall, here's the, uh, the premium image grid plugins are more than a cut above their free counterparts. That's the bottom line. 
If you need to do image grids, and it's a, an important component of the site, as it was in the case of uh, uh, selling the house and creating a WordPress site for that, I'm willing to spend 30 bucks to get, well, 29, to get justified image grids, okay? Both have a wide range of features, so there is a substantial learning curve to master. I think uh, Essential Grid does a better job of bringing you up to speed on how their uh, grid works. They've got better documentation, and uh, just the examples are, are better, okay? For many projects, it's easy to justify, uh, as I said before, at 27 per website. Now, remember how it works. Every time you put a uh, jig or uh, essential grid on a website, you've got to pay for that privilege, okay? If you have lots of people, product, event, and uh, image portfolios, the premium plugins uh, just make things easier for you. So don't fool around in that case. If you need quick image grids with varying data sources and varying image sizes, think jig, okay? But if you need a mix of video, image, and uh, custom post types with wide or full screen layout, that's another area where uh, Essential Grid does a better thing. Full screen layout, okay? Uh, jig, you really have to jig around to get it. And whereas, uh, uh, Essential Grid does it right away. So that's the name of the ball game. Thank you for attending. If there's any questions, th yes. Uh, at the very beginning, I, I I thought I gave a. Uh, let's see if I still. I put it on the uh, last thing I did. Yeah, here. There's the slide share, and I'm going to put it on my website, uh, theopensorcery.com. I'll, I'll, I'll sort of summarize what, you know, what is being presented here, and I'll put the complete uh, slide share uh, presentation as well. Okie doke. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.